Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle vendor purchase order paid by a finance company. You, you bought some equipment or purchased some materials, and instead of writing a check, it's paid for by a finance company, through your finance company. And this video, I'm going to cover uh, both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with QuickBooks Desktop. So I'm on uh, QuickBooks Desktop, right? Here's your purchase order uh, from your homepage screen. And if you don't see purchase order like this one, so that means you, you need to go to Preferences, Preferences, and select Items and Inventory, and then check this box, Purchase Orders and Inventory box. If it's like this, let's check this one, and that's it. Okay, so now you have Purchase Order link from your homepage screen. Let's pick that one. Now select your vendor, which is your supplier. Let's say A1 supplier, and you want to buy some uh, something, some purchases like this. You know, you have to set up like items. You know, uh, and it will tell you how where to expense it. For example, in this case, I have uh, purchases, and it's set up this way: is item as purchase, and uh, uh, you know, food purchases. This is where I'm going to expense it, you know, uh, like that. And uh, uh, if you're going to capitalize it, then you have to select different account. But in this case, I'm just going to expense it, buy and expense it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to purchase order again. And let's say I'm going to buy for $5,000. And I have this paid for by. Uh, ABC finance company so I'm gonna save this okay so now what you need to do now in chart of accounts you gotta have a, a, a you know the finance company set up as liability in this case it's gonna be set up as credit card type because uh, when you when you want to enter they, 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 they all they have is a credit card type uh, so if you set up as other current liability uh, it, it won't work so uh, if you work set up as credit card then it, it works fine uh, in on balance sheets credit cards also uh, other current liability type as well so this is how it's set up like this credit card and if you're doing a new one it's basically like this so underneath account type just select credit card and just write the uh, finance company's name and don't worry about the opening balance. Don't put anything in there. Okay. And in this case, I made uh, ABC Finance Company as a uh, um, sub account of uh, finance and credit card. But you don't have to do that. Uh, you know, this is fine. Right now, this is how it's set up in here. See, sub account of finance and credit card, right? Okay. So now you have that and. Uh, now you're ready to enter the into uh, charges. You know uh, they the they're gonna pay for it. So select the uh, ABC Finance credit card type, right? And then supplier one with the open purchase order A1 supplier. So as you can see here, it's an open few exists. Do you want to apply against it? So make sure it's, it's, it will say that, and then it will close your accounts uh, open purchase order. Select that one. And it was copied, right? Okay. So at this point, if everything looks okay, uh, then all you have to do is you, you just save it. As you can see here, there's a new account. There's no ending balance. And the moment you save it, it will show uh, five thousand dollar liability in your in your uh, in ABC uh, Finance Company. So I'm going to save this and close. Now, if I go to chart of account, you will see that five thousand dollars in here, right? So click it. This is the uh, um, liability register this is the register as you can see here is five thousand dollar charge and when you make the payment uh you reduce the balance you will see it here as well okay so that part is done let's say you want to make a payment that's pretty easy just write a check or something so let's say here i'm going to write a check write a check right okay let's say it comes out from your uh, uh say from your uh, ch checking account although in this one there's no balance here uh, so assume there's ending balance there 
So here's the A1 supplier, right? That's the one. I'm sorry, this is not the one. Uh, so you want to pay to ABC Finance Company. So not the ABA1 supplier as vendor. So you need to set up uh, the finance company as your vendor as well, ABC Finance. And uh, the, the account you want to select is this ABC Finance credit card. We'll say credit card type in here. All right, let's say you want to pay $500, right? Okay, and then save and close. Now if you go to uh, that register in here, from the chart of accounts, in here so you'll see you know five hundred dollars payment and loan it was five thousand and forty five hundred dollars and you would want to reconcile this account you know uh, once in a while like once a month uh, once you receive the statement you know if you want to make sure they are all recorded properly they may charge you finance charges so make sure finance charge go to expense account uh, interest paid expense account Okay, so that should do it for the uh, desktop. So I'm going to move to uh, QuickBooks Online. Uh, so just hang in there uh, if you're interested in QuickBooks Online. So I'm on QuickBooks Online. Uh, this is our website, QBO, newqbo.com, newqbo.com. So for QBO, uh, I'm going to use test drive file, test drive. And there's one link, external link in your test drive, test drive. And uh, for this video, I'm going to use USA file. And if you are from uh, other countries, you can also check out Canada, UK, Australia, India, and Singapore. Uh, we have uh, a visitor from all over the world. So I'm going to click this USA. And also, if you want to subscribe, QuickBooks, uh, sign up QuickBooks for a 30 day trial. We have a banner here for QuickBooks USA. USA and Canada and UK so I'm gonna click USA in here and go to test drive demo file so this is the one you want to use and if you want to learn or just test it uh, and don't want to mess up your books you know just type in some numbers they give you security numbers and uh, this will change every time you try to log in okay here we go and so this is demo file normally when I use demo file if it's a long one I would change the uh, uh, setup in here so go to advanced and let's say if it's idle for three hours you know they don't log it out so this is where you come in and change up to three hours so even if it's idle for three hours uh, you know they won't log it out okay I'm good for three hours now okay so the first thing you want to do is uh, as I said, you want to, uh, this is the plus plan. The reason being you need plus plan is, uh, uh, you know, the uh, essentials, uh, they don't have a purchase order. Same thing with Simple Start, they don't have anything. Although this one has, uh, you know, uh, check, you know, you can use credit card and stuff, uh, but no purchase order. Okay, so now I'm going to create uh, one, uh, one account. Sorry, well, I want to account for the... Uh, credit card in here okay so go to uh, go to new and uh, credit card and I'm gonna say ABC finance that's the name of the company uh, financing uh, uh, financing my uh, uh, purchases from vendor okay so don't put anything in here uh, just leave it blank Okay, so I have that now, and you go to the uh, if you're buying uh, purchases and you want to use items just like well, we did, you know, they have to add one more under partner services. So, new in here, let's say this is a purchases. So you need to check this box if you're going to issue a purchase order. All right, so everything looks good. Let's say. Okay, so I'm ready to uh, create purchase order right here. 
Okay, so let's say I'm going to buy it from uh, uh, Ellis Equipment Rental, right? And I'll say this is for purchases, which is this one we just created. And let's say the amount is 5000 again. All right, so I'm going to save and close. Okay, so now let's say finance company uh, paid that bill for you. So let's go to finance company. Make sure this is checking, checking one is the, the you know the finance by ABC Finance so this cover everything banking checking account savings account all the credit cards so it's listed in here as credit card type and select your uh, select your vendor which is this one right okay so now it will ask you oh there's a purchase order in here so this is this the one you're making payment the so select yes is five thousand dollars and uh, so uh, that's okay so if, if you want you can put uh, ABC finance it's just like a master car type now let's add that one ABC finance all right so this is well it don't matter okay so ABC finance next time you select that one uh, if, you, if they do uh, financing uh, you know for for, uh, for various other items so save a new uh, save a new right okay so now it will so you owe them you owe the finance company five thousand dollars right and and now in case when you want to pay this bill uh, all you have to do is come to the same place right and pay that finance company uh, creative a ABC finance as a vendor now finance company as a vendor It'll be a quick one vendor and then in here you can't select both of the same one you, you want to pay from your checking account right so let's say you want to pay in account in here account details so you come down here and select the credit card one for that uh, uh, finance company. It's way down here someplace, I guess. Right here. See ABC Finance and the credit card. Okay, so uh, you only have 1200 bucks. Let's say you want to pay $300 payment for this one. Right? Okay, so it's $300. And save it now it's done so if you go to the register chart of accounts and so this one let's say ABC this is right here $4,700 uh, you know you owe $4,700 right $5,000 for financing and you, you you made monthly payment of $300 so you owe $4,700 so you want to reconcile this on a regular basis when you get the uh, uh, statement from this finance company and if it's interest you don't want in Add interest in here so it has to be like an interest is your expense you have to expense it uh, so we have a separate video for that too so you can check it out so anyway um, so that's pretty easy that's how you have to do it and so visit our website you know uh, we have all kinds of uh, great tips in here thank you bye